Hello everybody. Well, the winter is coming. And today's video is going to be all about trying to take care of some of the more visible rust on this 06 town car. We got our parking lot repaved and restriped, probably in preparation for the winter. And, well, oh, okay, my shadow. All right, and so today I'm going to try and make up for the fact that the first time that I tried to do rust repair on this town car, I wasn't really doing YouTube. So, so basically here, here's a recap that was mentioned many, many times in many different videos. So I bought this town car in the winter of 2019. Uh, it had the little fender and quarter panel, you know, extensions, skirts, whatever you want to call them, the little flares here that that are chrome that would cover up this area in the front and back. So I bought it December 24th, kind of like a Christmas present to myself. And lo and behold, about February of, um, of the 2020, uh, I, I started noticing little, little bubbles that kind of started forming right beyond I think it was more on the other side, but I want to I want to be here because that's where like the shade is <laughs> a little bit. So beyond here, so you see these little bubbles. It started forming right over that chrome piece. Now, when they did these chrome pieces, it was very interesting because the back of the back were really just double stick tape. Like that's it. That's how they held on, and surprisingly, they held on pretty good. On the front, on both fronts. They had holes, like literally holes drilled in. You can kind of see them. Now I covered these up with, you know, with touch-up paint, and obviously they're not going to hold for a while. But you can even kind of see here on the front they were they were drilled in. I, I don't think it was. I mean, I don't know if it was a dealer installed. It definitely wasn't factory installed because th this is a signature limited. These things don't come with them, I think, from the factory. They, they didn't come with them. So I started noticing bubbles that would form right over the, the trim piece. So the first thing I did was I took all four of them off. The, the, on the front, it was kind of sort of okay. But on the back, on both sides, uh, there were bubbles. So now you can see that they're starting again. But let, let's get to this part. And what happened was, so I, I was working in Chicago at the time. I, I took it to a body shop. Well, actually, no, I took it to a couple body shops <laughs> to get estimates. I took it to a one nearby here. They said, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, we, we see this all the time. Yeah, it's going to be about $3,200. And basically, we would replace both quarter panels. We would, you know, color match the paint. And yeah, about $3,200. Now, keep in mind, I bought this car for seven grand. right? Now, I didn't know about all the rust. I was kind of dumb. You know, I was too excited. And you know what they say, don't buy... Don't buy a car with, with your emotions because you're going to get screwed. I, I don't think I got screwed. I mean, I love the car. I wasn't looking to spend a lot of money on a, on, a, on like the Cadillac, Town Lincoln, anything like that. So, obviously, <laughs> spending $3,200 uh, shortly after I bought the car, I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. I, and I would have, I, I would, I'm pretty certain they would have done a great job. Uh, you know, fixing it the proper way, right? The way it's meant to be fixed. So I, I went to a couple other places. I got different estimates. And I finally, I went to a body shop that was within a walking distance of my, you know, job a couple years ago. They told me, okay, you know, yeah, we, we'll, char we'll, we'll charge it. We'll fix it on both ends for, for 800 bucks. Now, question is, what, what did they do for 800 bucks that the others were going to charge me $3,200? Well, the, the $3,200 came from doing it the, the official way. The, the way that they did it for 800 bucks on both sides, they, they obviously they stripped the paint. They cut, out, they cut metal, like I don't remember from where. But most of the bubbling would happen like right around here. And you can, you can kind of see some of it starting again. They cut the metal. I have a few pictures somewhere. I'll try and find them for this video. I mean, I, I know I talked about it before. And they literally welded a piece of metal. I have no idea what car it came from. I'm not even sure if it came from a car. <laughs> they welded it. Put it back, obviously, in, in the same spot. Painted it with generic silver color paint. 
So they didn't promise me that they're gonna do like a factory match, you know, paint. They covered it up. And that's why my car, now you can't really see it. In, well, maybe you can, but you can kind of see both quarter panels are different silver. You know, I, I joked about it, you know, 50 shades of silver or whatever. Or you can call silver kind of gray. Yeah, okay, I think here it's a lot more noticeable. Yeah, and that's why my car has two-tone paint job in such a weird way. I was happy with it. I, I'm still happy with it. I wouldn't, I'm not going to spend 800 bucks even now to fix it, right? Because it's two years later, or it's coming up to two years. And yeah, it, but what I've noticed over the last, I don't know, four or five months, I started seeing a little bubbling here. On this side, it's worse. The other side, there's, there's a couple small ones. I'm not sure why this side, the driver's side, tend to get more. I have no idea. But it started happening again. Now, I understand why. Because this metal, look, look, you see that? Here, I'm going to try it again. See? It's, it's rusting again. Now, I don't know why it's rusting. Why is it worse on this side than the other side? Is that how the water flows in here? I have no idea. But I understand that this, this was a temporary fix. The guy even told me at the time, like, look, it's, it's, <laughs> it's going to come back. You know, like, this is not going to fix it for you. And, and he even told me, it's like, the right way to do it is to do what the other guys told you. But if you don't want to do it, that's the cheap way of doing it. And, and I stuck with it. So anyway, now it's happening again. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and fix it to the best of my ability using Flex Seal. The same Flex Seal <laughs> that, that I fixed my wheels. Now, you're saying, Vitaly, how in the world do you think you fixed it? How is this <laughs> fixing wheels? Well, I'm going to do is I have some cleaning supplies with me. I'm going to try and wipe it off. And I'm going to try and see what's actually happening behind all this dirt on a couple of rims. Um, because, you know, my, my rims on top of everything else were pretty corroded. Uh, I bought them corroded. I really thought I didn't know about the whole Ford, you know, rim corrosion before that. So I bought them thinking hey, they were just really curbed. But oh, here you can see it like right here. See that? This is. But it was happening all around. So I, I toyed with the idea of getting new rims. Somebody, a couple of you, suggested refinishing. But once again, there's certain things that are not as important to me as others. And fixing rims is just not not really that important. So I flex sealed them, and they've been fine. They haven't been chipping. <laughs> now I know I know they're ugly. I get it. I'm not telling you to do it. You know this is not a life hack, but it works for me. So just just work with me on this one. I'm gonna try and see what happened to these rims over the last couple years that I had flex seal on them. And I'm gonna try to do the same thing to that part. I have no idea how. I have no idea what's going to come out of it. I'm not telling you that this is a life hack, that this is the way to do it. No, I'm quite the opposite. I think I'm going to be a contender for the second dumbest automotive channel, you know, of YouTube. So, but I'm going to try and do it. You know, I'm going to have some fun with, with this. And All right, let's see what happens. All right, so check this out. Just, just you know, for my own <laughs> experiment. Um, I'm going to try and somehow show you. I don't know how I'm going to show you. But basically, I took some Windex and some of these shop towels I'm using <laughs> as, a, as a knee pad for now. Uh, I just wiped off all the dirt and crap that's been here. Let me see if I can take a better... Uh, yeah, so look at this. Look at the dirty part. And I just wiped off a couple spokes of the rim. Look, it's still there. Now, I'm not, once again, I'm not trying to prove to you that what I did was right. And this is the way to fix corroding rims. But look at this. It's been on here for two years, give or take. Now, I understand that I, I literally applied this. This is the original can. It's gray, right? And it's still in there. I'm going to be using it right now. And all I did was I just dipped in here and I applied it. So, obviously... It's not, you know, it's not even. I get it. And it's dirty as hell, especially like look at the contrast here and look at the contrast here. I think there's something that's the rubberized part of Flex Seal. It's kind of attracts dirt. Dirt. But look, it didn't wash away. It didn't fade. It's dirty, and I could probably do a much better job cleaning it. But once you clean it, like, you know, especially in, in here in between these little spokes. I mean, the corrosion did stop. <laughs> so, call me crazy. Call me weird. You know, call me, you know, I don't care about my car or whatever. Or I don't care what people think. But 
it's the, the material itself i am amazed here here's what's happening here you know the whole bubbling you know why it's happening i don't know how well you'll be able to see it but try here i'm going to try and use the focus you see this the metal see that it just comes off now i don't think when they did this whole welding component of it i don't think they went as as, as you know as far as as here but look it's literally separating metal well i don't know i hope you guys can see it now it's not happening on the outside but obviously what's bubbling through is the rust the rust pushing it away so what i'm gonna try and do since there's really nothing else like i've even sprayed and i will be spraying this stuff i will you know at the end of this video i will be spraying this and i've done this already a couple times in the wheel well in particular to to prevent rust but nothing i do here look like well here you can i'm sticking my my phone in there my galaxy fold which actually in this case is to my advantage because i can oh there you go there you go that's a good angle you see that like what could i possibly do to prevent this you know i drive i daily drive my car there's there's here oh wow okay you know what galaxy galaxy fold is actually made to go in in the wheel well see now i've sprayed it already i've i've done everything i could to prolong the life of this car i i if you guys remember ford boss me did a whole undercoating uh, I think in the beginning of this year, either the end of last year or the beginning of, of this year. I don't remember anymore. I haven't seen him in like several months, so I don't know what he's up to. I know his channel is good. I still talk to him every once in a while. But So anyway, so I'm going to try. <laughs> this will be my last ditch effort. I'm not going to try and do anything on the outside. I mean, the outside, it is what it is. Like, yeah, I could sandpaper this down, this bubble. And I don't know, maybe once it comes through, I'm going to cover it cover it with flex seal but basically you know the guys who 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 do everything with duct tape well i'm, I'm not really big on duct tape i'm a flex seal guy you know it's a can of phil swift just sold me on the idea and looking here gives me hope that i don't care if it looks like crap but if it stops at least prolongs the lifespan of my car and these these quarter panels and possibly fenders i don't know i haven't seen anything really a lot on the fenders but i'm gonna i'm gonna try this so wish me luck all right so as you can see i made a little mess so this is what about 40 minutes of, of my my labor and my efforts accomplished so look at this so first of all look at all this rust that i knocked down you know i just started tapping with um, the back end of that foam um brush just to kind of like get it you know just get get it moving oh yeah a ton of this stuff came out Look at that. It's black on the one side from all the dirt. It's definitely rust on the other side. So I made a bit of a mess. Now, obviously, you can ignore all these little strands of flex seal because, I mean, it doesn't really matter once once I start driving, once enough dirt sticks to it, and obviously it does, it'll it'll fix itself up. And it's rubber on rubber action, so it doesn't it doesn't really affect anything. Um, plus, there's some rust that fell on the, on the wheel itself, on the tire. So here's what I did. I basically, I sprayed some primer in there. I don't know how well you guys can see it. Well, you can kind of see the silver. Yeah, you can, you can see the silver. All right. So I sprayed some, some primer in there. See that? <laughs> Gave it a few minutes so it kind of dries out. And then I just went beast mode on flex seal. Oh shit. Look at that. Okay, I just touched something. Uh, probably it's a bad idea to, to be doing this with my $2,000 phone that I did not pay $2,000 for, but you get the idea. Um, yeah, and I just started going going crazy with Flex Seal, just packing it in there as much as I can. And then, like, in this area, I sprayed, I have some metallic paint. I have no idea where I have it from because I, I didn't use it on this car before, but I just sprayed it in there as much as I could just to give you know a little bit more i guess i don't know layer of protection if i may and then i try to work my way around the the edge as you can kind of see just to cover it up now i i have no idea is it is it going to hold for for a minute that i make anything worse obviously i'm not trying to pretend like i fixed the rust problem because the rust problem is definitely not 
something that it's my ability to fix but but that's what I did <laughs> just to say that I did it now on this side I haven't done anything yet I just moved it this the Sun is already starting to set but I guess I'm gonna use my uh, I can't see anything what, oh, okay well maybe here the flash let's see let's see if I can well you know what surprisingly it's it's not that bad like what is it about I also think that this parking lot is on an angle so I have less room to work with in here on this side than on the other side but look it's not this bad it's not that bad look it's not separating like like it is on the other side well that explains why this side is not that bad I know I already said that so maybe I'm gonna hold off on this and maybe what I'll do is instead of using this liquid stuff I'm gonna use um because this thing also comes in a spray maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray it you know facing myself and try not to like like look like yeah like I'm tapping on it yeah dirt does come out but it's dirt it's not flakes of rust so what is it about that side that makes it you know do that here Like, yeah, like, you can see crap, but but it's not, like, sheets of rust. It's actually just dirt that was packed. You see that? Like, it's nothing, it's nothing major. Because I did that on the other side, obviously. I should have probably, should have probably done this. All right, the neighbor's dog wanted to bark at me. So anyway, so I, like, you saw me do that, and nothing major came out of there. So there's something about that side that just makes it worse. Maybe it was submerged on that side. Who knows? But even, like, in here, see the light on it. it I, I'm not seeing the same separation as I do on the other side. Well, anyway, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it here. So, so this will be a good and like an interesting experiment. So this is my, yeah, I right, see there's definitely a lot more clearance on this side than the other side. So the car is kind of sitting this way. And that's just the way the parking lot is probably. It kind of dips on that side. Okay, folks. I did it. I have no idea what I did. I'm not telling you to do what I did. Don't be like me. Be yourself. You know. You can kind of see there's there's some battle scars. I didn't really do any of this stuff. <laughs> I park I park pretty carefully, but you can see I touched it up uh, over the course of the last couple years. So, all right. So I guess I don't have to do it on this side. Um, but as these tiny bubbles, you know, as they kind of grow, and I'm sure they will at some point. And you know what, now that I know that fuck seal is kind of interesting, how it how it stays and sticks, and you can kind of see here, it's not as dirty, so, yeah. Well, here it's a little dirty. Maybe I'll do the same thing here, because you can kind of see how the two pieces of metal here, like, they, they will, I mean, they are rusting, and they probably will continue to rust, and the fact that these holes were just drilled right through without any kind of protection didn't, didn't make things didn't make things good so hey maybe maybe I just bought this car another six months right or maybe I just wasted a bunch of time <laughs> a bunch of your time watching it hopefully in my time yeah you see how there's like a little specks that are already starting even though I covered it up like I touched it up as recent as like maybe three four months ago uh, like in the beginning of, of the summer I did this and, uh, what are you gonna do you know what I'm loving it, so I don't care. All right, everybody. <laughs> Looking forward to reading your comments. <laughs> See ya.